Hi guys, welcome back to the my guest. Today we're reviewing today we're reviewing a really awesome mod. And um yeah, as you can see, these aren't normal blocks in the game. These are trains and helicopters and zeppelins and stuff like that. So um yeah. We're gonna show you how to do everything in this game. I mean in this mod. So to download this you need forge and first what you notice when you open your creative menu you'll uh, see there's this little scrolling thing here you go click on the one that sits to the right and you'll see this new thing called train craft and it has all the items from this mod which is a lot and I will not be able to review all of them because well I can't it's huge so this right here I think we're gonna do this one first I don't know for sure if this is a zeppelin or a plane so let's just do this okay this right here is a zeppelin so let's Put all these stuff back in our inventory and grab some uh, coal to power it. All right, now you want to click this little white square here. Uh, yeah, click the white square. Now I did this mistake my first time. Don't look that way. Look this way. Now press R and put your coal in this spot here. Now just um, press WASD and look in the direction you want to go. It is kind of hard to uh, control. I've definitely noticed that. Um, it kind of keeps going, but it really is pretty fast to travel. So yeah, um, this isn't the main part of the mod. The main part is definitely the trains, but as you can see, I'm passing this terrain really fast with the Zeppelin. So that's a really nice thing in the mod so yeah um, next we're gonna show off some awesome trains that are in this mod first we have the jukebox train and I think you press uh, see I don't know how to interact with this train um, hmm. seems to be sliding controls is it C? Hello. Why is this train sliding away from me? <laughs> okay, I didn't practice much for this mod for you. Let's just call that done. Alright, so um, next we have our steam engine, and you can see it says add water. And right now I'm kind of sitting around in this train, and it's like add water. So I have these three water buckets here. You press R. It opens up this. You put water in this one. It's kind of outlined. Two, three, and you get your buckets back. Now, um, let's see. What does it get powered with? Does it get powered with coal? I think it doesn't. I think it gets powered with a. Uh, um, um. Let's see. Well, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think it gets powered with diesel. Oh. Okay, so press R up no I think it gets part of coal then all right so let's get some coal yeah or coal there we go and if I were on track I'd be able to actually drive this you see it's not going very fast because I'm not actually on a railroad track okay so that's good to know Next, we have this little high-speed train here. Um, it's kind of also cool. Um, so press R again. I believe this one either takes on, either takes coal. No, it takes redstone. I believe. Let's see. Let's check it out. Okay. Um, let's see. Does it take redstone? Yes, it does. That's about the high speed trains, takes redstone. So that's awesome. This is the mini high speed train, the bluish one. This is the larger high speed train. There are also like passenger cars for these high speed trains, so that's nice. You press R, put the redstone in, and now you got like a ton of fuel. 
and this one goes extremely fast so yeah um here's another look little kind of caboose so yeah that's that's nice um this is a passenger car it's kind of cool looking i think it this mod is really amazing it's a little bit buggy um but really it is quite quite amazing passenger cars here um let's see this over here is another type of passenger car so you can just go around sit around in each of these seats that's nice all right now um here's a question oh here's the problem that i had with my own trial and error of this so let's just get one of our high speed trains to like start this thing up okay high speed locomotive okay but that's not the thing that's everybody's having a problem with it's actually the problem that most occurs is people don't know how to connect their trains and I figured this out um, I was using bad kind of rail so what you want to do is take this here called a stake and click this little white box of a passenger train about there and then you click it on the other passenger train and then kind of like push it up and then it'll say attached and that's attached um... do the same thing with the other ones So, uh, alright set the time of day do that a one and 123 oh, not good <laughs> alright yeah whatever let's just get the one that attaches <laughs> alright this is pretty buggy as you can see the trains are just entering other trains which really makes this messed up let's just destroy these trains alright oh this is one okay let's just get this over with 123 and 87 yeah this is kinda buggy but um it's a really amazing mod the textures I think in this are quite amazing so let's kinda walk with this train here these textures are really amazing it'll say attached and now we can put our uh, locomotive on the front now this is a little bit different to attach. You kind of want to click this part here. Then you want to click the front area where you actually sit for this. And then you kind of want to bring this forward. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is going to be hard to bring forward, isn't it? Maybe I should just do this. Um Okay, let's just do that. Maybe we'll put it one block difference cuz I believe it does have like some awesome magnet force. Okay. So put this here. Make sure to do the passenger car first. Oh gosh. Okay, whatever. Attaching mode for 60 and. Oh, okay, this one isn't attached. Come on. Let's just. Okay, this isn't really working out very well. Um, okay, let's attach these two. One. Oh my gosh. Okay, there, that's one. Okay, now what you want to do is attach your mode 60. 31. Attached. Okay, now destroy this. Place that about there. Good. And good. And now it's attached. Now, what do we want to do is get inside this. And press R and place down our redstone. And press F5 
to watch our awesome going and as you can see I'm going actually pretty fast um yeah that's already almost out of sight so Whoa. it is pretty buggy though um yeah as you can see this this doesn't really happen in normal trains but really it's still pretty awesome okay now that we crash into the wall everybody can get out and I think we detached from some trains but um, basically that's how we do it yeah I'm not the best at this mod and I'll leave you guys to um figure most of it out <laughs> all these trains got left behind let's try this one last time how about with this Union Pacific thing so yeah alright now click this here and click that there and now it's attached and what I want to do is get my uh, coal because Union Pacific takes coal the animations are really pretty amazing on this I really am impressed oh does this take what does this take? oh no no it doesn't take coal it takes um a new type of fuel on the mod it's called diesel container now I won't be able to do any crafting crafting recipes because it's a huge huge mod and all these crafting recipes would take days so let's just sit in here awesomely and speed up and we're going pretty slow and we just hit that sheep and he got hurt so that's nice so actually we're not going that slow I mean that always happens okay I advise not pressing F5 it doesn't work very well alright um sadly this uh, thing makes it hard to see what's in front of you and it's definitely very buggy um, but I really love this mod overall so um yeah and here we go to crash into the other train alright and you can like enter these passenger cars and stuff so yeah that's just about it for this month I'll see you guys later